Hello, this is Panda coming to you from a rainy afternoon on the East Coast, the day after options expiration, August 2009. Let's jump right into our first position for the month review of the Options Income Service. And we have a uh, position here on the SPX we entered into after a break of, of 900 here with a bull put spread of 950, 940 and a bear call at 950.960. And um, as you can see here, this position went right from the onset. It just kept gapping up with huge candles going up and ending the month extremely high with uh, catching me off guard here, expecting a pullback at least at this, uh, at this 950.960 level, but it did not happen. So here's a video to uh, to represent and reflect the overall sentiment of bearishness that I. I'm so happy because I'm a gummy bear, gummy bear. Our next uh, position was uh, the IWM. We entered into the $60, $62 bear call spread for a credit of uh, $0.10, cents, and that returned us uh, 5 and a quarter percent So this uh, position was was very, very, very well. We had we have major um, uh, re resistance here at this gap area of $60, $60 and the gap fill of 62 so I was uh, fairly confident that that even though we may touch the 60 level for this month um, we back off which even though we ended on the high our position was uh, was safe going forward I do think we have a chance to trade up to the up to the sixty five dollar area I don't think we're going to gonna get much higher than that at all so okay let's look at our other position we had the uh, SPY and the SPY we uh, enter, entered into the 104 106 uh, bear call so 104 106 and that was never really in danger uh, except on the last day, we, you know, on Friday we had this major move up. But that 104, 106 entered into at least for a credit of 11 cents, which I did. Some of my other subscribers got in a little bit better, but going by my fill at 11 cents was 5.82 percent return. And uh, we also entered a uh, SPY position just yesterday alone. On the last day for options expiry, here we're, we're trading in the morning, and then we got a huge move up here. Um, we got we got like a complete point move on the SPY on uh, on Friday morning at 10 o'clock, and so I sent out a call. Let's uh, let's enter a fairly risky position for 103, 105 bear call spread with the possibility of being assigned if SPY closes above 103. So it was trying to tag and break this 103 level all day. As you can see here. And uh, the last hour of trading, it did push up here 103, but it couldn't hold it and the end of the day 102.92 we entered into this position I said for a minimum of 15 cent credit all the way up to 25 cent credit it did trade in between those depending on which candle you got in you would have been able to get um, at least 15 
to 20 cents. So I get in at 15 cents for a return of 8.1%. And uh, this did trade also into the into the after hours. And uh, it did close down uh, a couple cents off the closing lows or the closing highs rather. So uh, let's take a look at the... Uh, at the overall uh, S&P daily with some uh, brief analysis here. Okay, this is a March lows, and since then we just been going straight up with basically no pullbacks. The only real pullback we had was uh, was uh, was here from uh, middle of June to uh, to the first week of of July. So. And this formed this this channel here, which actually is a broadening uh, fanning pattern, which means that we're getting higher highs and we're sorry we're getting higher lows and we're getting higher highs. So it's basically looking that that we could re retest this upper channel here at 103 and a half and then try to work our way down or we could definitely uh, we, we could definitely break up and possibly fill the gap that we had from uh, from the October uh, meltdown here so and that gap fill area is a uh, 111 on the SPY and that also corresponds the same level corresponds with the overall downtrend we have since the highs of uh, 2007. So let's uh, go take a look at it. So here we have we have the highs of 157 on the SPY, and we have this the high, the high of 2007, high of 2008. And so will the high of 2009 be 111 to 113 area? I think it's a good possibility. I don't think we're gonna we're we're gonna break that area and trade even higher. I think we could we could retest this downtrend and continue our descent down. But we don't know. We'll just play it by ear. Uh, so. That's pretty much my uh, brief analysis on the SPY. If we break this channel up, we're going to fill this gap. If not, we could uh, pinball between this uh, broadening formation. But this broadening formation will end at some point. Okay, I just I just expanded uh, the range over here. So at, at whatever case, you know, even this broadening formation is not getting any higher than the 110 area. So even this this broadening formation where it intersects this overall uptrend is intersecting over here at 110. So anyway, as you can see here, this is the major major area between between 105 and 112. I think this is it if we do manage to get up to this area, I it would be uh, it would be the chance to uh, to load up on on the on the bear side and, and finally get this thing right. But it could take some time to get up there, or we could definitely get up there in the next month. I mean, look at this move that that we've had since uh, since just one month ago. It's so one one month ago. We're at 87 in the SPY. And, and just in a week and a half, we went up to 97. So that's 10 points this way. And another 10 points is going to put us at, at, at 107. And if we get to 107, we're just going to move a couple more points to, to fill this area. So, so that's, my, uh, that's my brief analysis. So overall this month, even though we had, uh, we had the, the majority of our positions were profitable, uh, however, the one um, the one complete losing position did overshadow all of our wins. So 
So this month we have a 15.36% loss for this month. So uh, stay tuned with us for the next month and we'll see how we improved. We will be looking at, uh, at getting out of uh, iron condor positions into uh, uh, much better risk reward ratio positions and we've uh, just started to enter into those for the next month. So we're looking at continued uh, growth here. So until next month, stay tuned and we will see you then. Have a great remainder of August. We'll get into some real trading in September.